Okay, well, see, I would see apartheid is really racism, white supremacy. So let's just say some of the symptoms of racism, white supremacy, you know, you can't move here, you can't live there. Some of those laws were changed in South Africa just as they were changed here. But the system of racism, white supremacy is continuous. And so black people in South Africa in large measure are living in poverty. And you have very, very high levels of male unemployment. And when you have high levels of male unemployment and males not being able to respect themselves because they are not being given the opportunity to function, to function productively and effectively, then they can take that out, you know, take their frustration out on women or try to exercise power by exercising power over women through rape. But South Africa is not free from the system of racism, white supremacy. You see, you just have some of the more surface issues being removed, but the people are still subject to racism, white supremacy, and they're subject to lack of education, and they're subject to lack of housing and health care and education and jobs at a decent wage. Do you see reconciliation? I think that reconciliation is not justice. And, you know, white people putting black people in a situation where you have to forgive us. See, nobody imposed on Semites of the Jewish religion that you have to reconcile with the Germans. Nobody ever said anything like that at all. So I really want to call it silliness on the part of black people or really powerlessness to see where people haven't really been given an avenue or a right to respect themselves. Yeah. I see, I forgive you, I forgive you, and then, I don't know, maybe somebody like Desmond Tutu can justify being with a white woman once he says it. I don't know. <laughs>